Welcome back to Art World TV. Here we are in the elephant enclosure of the Royal Exhibition Building with sculptor, printmaker in Mahout, artist Jeffrey Ricardo. And we're here to talk about all these elephants. We've got tiny elephants, we've got elephant prints, and we've got this massive copper exquisite elephant behind us. So Jeffrey, what's it with elephants? What's it with elephants? It's one small accident that worked well for me a very long time ago. Uh, that I interpreted into an elephant and it's been something I've kept going back to. I've revisited, let's say, because I don't do just elephants. No, we, 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 we yeah. thought that there might be more to you, but um, there's so... Not much more. <laughs> the elephant man, the elephant man yeah, of the art world. Yeah, I asked for that. <laughs> They're so solid and, and elephanty and big and heavy and, and all things that an elephant should be. Were you aiming for something like Essence of Elephant or tell me about the the ideas? Essence of Elephant? Well, I didn't even think about that. I, I would have been because I think every time you make something you're trying to get some sort of essence of what it is you're doing, be it a drawing or a painting. It's trying to get the essence of what you're looking at. The elephant, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't seem like an elephant. It doesn't have a sense of mass or weight. I think, well, see, obviously it reminds us of the, the masked elephants of, of Hindu imagery. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of elephant faces, aren't there? Where there's something, too, you've done about people and elephants together, where you know, a lot of these images are, are, are both people and elephants. So is that, what a, tell me about that. Well, I wouldn't say they're actually, my intent is not actually that they are elephants. They're actually people in disguise as elephants. And that's where they started as being like a little pantomime drawing or print, I should say, that, um, that turned into two guys wearing an elephant suit. At the time, elephants were topical on the news, which was 20 years ago, um, and just seemed to be a very, an easy motive to use and one that just sprung to mind. And when it came to actually revisiting or trying other things, trying other techniques and other mediums, the elephant was my kind of first choice because it seemed like the easy one. It's an eternally popular one too. So are you happiest with the, the sculpting or the printmaking? If, if you had to choose, if someone held a gun to your head and said, all right, you can do prints or you can do sculptures, which would it be? That'd be hard. The prints I can actually sit down and do quite comfortably. And I've got a, my main history has been with printmaking. So I can do that much more comfortably and I think a lot more efficiently. But the sculpture gives me a hard time. So I'm kind of more attracted to that at the moment. It's more, it's more, uh, it's newer to me. It's harder and I'm still fumbling my way through it more. And I feel like I'm, because I'm not that good at it, I've got to try harder. <laughs> I love that, not that good at it. This, this is monumental, this. And how long did it take you? Seven months, two weeks before Christmas, till now. My goodness. And did you just decide to do something enormous or why, why the scale? Was that just the progression? I mean, have we gone from the little elephants and they've just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger along the way? Yeah, each time I come back to this, I want to challenge. So keep trying something a little bit more ambitious. And also knowing that it was going to come here. There was a plan once we organised to have a show here with, with the gallery that, well, we needed something. I felt I wanted to do something a bit ambitious. So, and having such an enormous and vast and beautiful space to to house it, and yeah, I that's inspiring get, in itself. I get this much space to use in any other gallery, and in an internal space. I've done a couple of other large scale works like this: elephants, rhinoceros, big oh, creatures. I've got to find this right. big creatures. <laughs> they say a lot about people. Um, I think so, and they invite people to react, react with, to them and engage yeah, with them, and there's something very accessible about an elephant where, as a work of art, you can just, you know, connect with it. People love elephants. They do. It's hilarious. I mean, that's almost puts me off, but it makes me want to keep doing it too. It's like, well, it's almost borderline cliche doing big things. It's kind of too easy in some ways, but at the same time, well, why not? What has been the biggest challenge for you with this work in particular? Was it the actual physical construction of it or the form or what would be the thing that really you struggled with as an artist, I guess? Mostly the formal, more the formal design, the um, working the copper to, to I could get a sense of, um, of life to it. I'm still fairly new to this hammering the copper. That's only been the last five years. Uh, to actually stretch the metal enough and get it to where it has has a feeling of what the original source was has been the biggest challenge. 
I mean, the size, well, that's a challenge, but that's just a physical one. That's just all engineering and perseverance and hanging things up and having something that can lift up the weights and give you the height and, and you know, su surviving that. That's kind of, you know, kind of basic survival, whereas the pulling it off aesthetically has been the hardest thing and not knowing whether it's going to work, not knowing it's going to work until the last minute. Because something like this takes me months, so it's a long time to make, that I don't know really how it's going to work until it's totally finished. And so it's and it's made in parts and then put together at one stage. So having these components, I don't know how they're going to go until it's until they all go together. And that didn't happen until about six weeks ago. Good God. Okay. So I, whether it's going to work or not, and then when it is together, how is it going to work when I actually get it in here? And when there's actually, when I keep adding little details, how's that going to work? Like the the rug that's on it, the woven copper rug that I. I'm not really sh not sure why I did it. I think I, I wanted a, a, a challenge. So yes, yeah, so I was going to ask you that. How much did you know you were going to put on? Because it's so incredibly detailed and there's so much decoration and so many, so many bits to it. How much of that did you know before you started or do you just keep going? And if so, how do you know when to stop? I ran out of time. That helps. I came <laughs> last Monday came around and that was it. So that was, it, that was as much as I could do. So yeah. Prior to that was just do as much as I can. Initially, I had just a, an outline idea in my head. And I've done similar things before. As you can see, there is a sort of, you know, this covers you know, 20 years of work. Well, not quite this show, but pretty close to, well, just one here, one there. Over time, I add to the number of the body of work, this particular image. Um, and so I've got a general idea what it's going to be like in my head. And I just start making things. And then I just work it out as I go. The advantage of working with the metal is that if bits don't work, I can chop it up and re, re weld frames together, chop it up, add bits, take it away, and also the copper, put it on. If it doesn't work, I can take it off and I can just keep forming it. If it doesn't work, I get rid of it. If it works, I leave it and go on. The detail I've just decided to do along the way. I thought there would be a bit of detail in the beginning, but a lot of it's just as I work, I try things, experiment a bit and see what happens. So you don't want to be restrained in any way by the actual text of real elephants, do you? Because no. you're working in this, this beautiful, fluid, coppery... Well, I'm more likely to go somewhere else if I get it wrong. And getting it wrong is kind of a way of getting it right, and if, that, if that makes sense. And it's, and it's kind of like, because I do get them, I feel like I get them wrong every time, that it, well, it keeps me going back and trying a bit harder. Yeah, yeah. So, I hit, um, so... If I sort it out, I'll probably stop doing it. The day so you come in and one looks like beautiful, realistic, That'll be the end of it. That's something else again. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Like kangaroos look like dogs, and my dogs look like kangaroos, and my other other silly things I do. Gorgeous. All right. Well, we've probably had enough of your time, dear. We could probably stand and talk time. elephants all day, but yeah. look, they're, they're so wonderful. So thank you so very much, and thank you. go well, and yeah. we'll see you again. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Take care.